struggle is against sin. The battle, right? That battle was won when Jesus spoke these words hanging on a cross. Father, forgive them. Forgive them, Father. It was the word of God that won that battle. The struggle is always for us against self. Right? Jesus showed us what word, his word, we should speak to win that battle. Not my will, but thy will be done. The greatest struggle was against death. Now that battle was won when the women came to the grave where Jesus had been buried following the, the crucifixion. And they were met by an angel. And the angel spoke the word of God saying, he is not here. He is risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That death was conquered. Right. Oh, death, where is I victory? Death, where is I sting? Death has been conquered. It's all about the word. It is written. It is written. It is written. No debates. Mm -mm. No bombs blown up. Mm -mm. No punches thrown. No hesitation. Just draw the sword. The word of God. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. 2 Corinthians 10, 3, 4. Do, the question becomes, do you believe the word of God? Right. Exactly. The word that, in, that God has written on the tablets of your heart, the love that God has poured into your heart, the spirit that resides within you as God's temple. These are, this is what gives you the strength, the power to overcome. You might, we might be more than overcomers, more than conquerors. Until you start to resort on the natural things to take care of yourself. The word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. And piercing as far as the division of soul and spirit of both joints and marrow. And able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Hebrews 4.12 The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. Without wielding the sword, the word of God, you will be defeated. You will be defeated. If you turn to the world and the things of the world, you will be defeated. God spoke to the prophet Hosea and said, my people perish for a lack of knowledge because they don't know the word. They rejected it. People don't know because they choose not to know. Mm -hmm. So Hosea continued on to say, because you have rejected knowledge. They perish for a lack of knowledge because they've rejected it. The people of God, the children of God, us, the saints, the holy ones of God, are instructed to abide in his word, John 8, to study his word, 2 Timothy chapter 2, and to be led in everything we do by his word. Psalm 119 verse 105. Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. He has promised to lead us in paths of righteousness. He does it by his word. And you must remember this. That sounds like a song. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 18, 21. I was a, a wise guy that said that with the wisdom of God. Solomon said that. Death and life. You choose. Remember, Satan wants us disarmed. He wants us disarmed because he's afraid of us. Right. right? I don't know if you ever heard of Sun Tzu. Yes. He, he was a Chinese general that lived like 500 years before Christ. And he wrote a book called The Art of War, which is still studied in military academies in many, many nations around the world to this day. And then there was uh, von Clausewitz, the German general in the, in the early 1800s who, a student of Sun Tzu, also wrote a book called, um, let me see, On the Nature of War. These are two guys, I mean, historically, who are, are considered the best strategicians of war that ever lived, right? And they've been studied by military leaders throughout history. I want you to listen to this from von Clausewitz. 
The compulsory submission of the enemy to our will is the ultimate object. Right? We want to bend people to our will. In order to attain this object fully, the enemy must be disarmed. Mm. Talk to anybody that's been to West Point or Annapolis or the Air Force Academy. Talk to anybody that's been to the War College in Newport. Talk to anybody you know, who's foreign leaders. They will know that. You've got to try and disarm your enemy. What do they teach you in boot, in boot camp, in the Marine Corps? They, t- they teach you never let go of your weapon. weapon. Absolutely. Never, never, ever. And never, ever. Never, ever, ever. And your weapon is the Word of God, the sword. It's thy word is strength. Thy word is power. Your word is kind. And your word is true Thy word is a lamp Unto my feet And a light Unto my path Thy word have I hid O God In my heart